Hello everybody and welcome back to the super flat world now if we look out over our village You might notice there have been some changes There's even one big thing underneath me and if we come into the base you might notice there's been a little bit of work off camera by a little I mean 150 days. Now originally this video was meant to be from day 100 all the way to day 250, but that video ended up looking like this. So instead I decided to just make a normal episode and started off by giving you a quick tour of what I made over the 150 days. Starting off inside the base, I've built an automatic smelter because I've needed a lot of smooth stone. You'll see why soon. As well as a little nether wart farm so I can trade with villagers. I've built up this corner of the base, but I haven't decided what to put in here yet. Comment down below if you have any ideas. And then over in this corner, I've put a very simple chest room for the time being. And on these walls, I've also put up some raid banners from when some pillages somehow cross the ocean into the village. Here's the chest room, but at some point, I want to make this an automatic item sorter. Heading into the village now, and you'll notice that I no longer have to parkour over from my base, which has been so much better. And if we turn around, you can see the massive project that I've been working on and just how much smooth stone I've needed. So far, I've placed just over 20,000 blocks, and I still have about a quarter of the wall to go. Eventually, a lot of my farms and different rooms will be moved into this part of the building. Off to the side is a small sugarcane farm, but there's not really anything exciting there. And that brings us to the village. I've built this new cobblestone generator for obvious reasons. It's way quicker than the original generator and I lose less cobble to the lava. It all collects in these chests so I can just grab them after my AFK sesh and go. As you can see, I've changed up the end portal room as well. Let's have a look. Now because this world only consists of three blocks of dirt, I had to get creative for my source of sand. Luckily, a wandering trader was trading for some sand, so I got a stack from him and built this. Now this is a gravity duper, which means all I had to do is put sand on it, and it'll push it into the end portal and create so much more sand. So much in fact, I have about two full double chests of sand and gravel. So the plan for today's episode is to build an automatic tree farm. Because I can't get coal in this world, I'm gonna use the logs to get charcoal and power my super smelter so that I can get stone. And while I slowly build this tree farm, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for all the support in the last Minecraft video. I can't believe that so many people chose to watch it, let alone ask for this to become an ongoing series. So seriously, thank you all so much. So for everyone who wants more Minecraft, expect this to become a common thing. Now it's important that this platform is built correctly because if it's built exactly how I've done it, then you're gonna have to tear it down and build it all over again. All right, let's switch it on and it didn't work. Okay, let's try again. It's working, great. Now all we need is a block here and it's broken again. Okay, it should be working now. And that's why temporary blocks should only be temporary. Alright, third tries the charm. And it's actually working! Awesome! Now I just sit here until my bone mill runs out and let the farm do its thing. After a long time of swapping my librarian's trades, we finally got a mending book. But of course, because I didn't take into account Burr's Law, which is, any clip that's needed for a video will become corrupted. Deal with it. Here's a dramatic reenactment for me finally getting mending. Finally a mending villager, yeah! I'm not an actor. With my tree farm up and running, it was time to finally trade my excess sticks for emeralds. One fletching table, one kidnapped villager, and one bad decision. Oh no. Meant that I would need to get a whole new fletching villager, but I'm not bothered to do that. Instead, it's time to start my next project that I'm calling the day counter. To make this, first I need to get 270 wheat seeds, which turns out to be just over four stacks. And because I can't make life easy for myself, I'm gonna get the same amount of carrots and potatoes. While I collect the crops, let me explain how this day counter works. Minecraft's F3 menu tells you how many days have passed in your world, but it's very hard to visualize just how big a number it is. So we take these crops, combine them with the day counter by planting one crop for every day, and boom, we can now see just how many days this world has been around for. Wow, now that's a good plan. And with all my crops ready, we need to cross the ocean and start building the day counter. And let me tell you now, I have not missed these slimes. I wish I could say that planting the crops went quick, but...
And when I thought I was making good progress, they started destroying my farmland even more. So it was time for defensive actions. Fences. After getting the first field of crops down, I was dreading making another two, but thankfully they went smoothly, except for the fact that I built one of the fields wrong. With the carrots now planted, I just have to plant the potatoes, which is pretty much the same procedure. Fences, slime, water, plant. Finally, it was done, and it only took an hour. Now I have a way to show the age of this super flat series, and I'll be adding to this farm every single episode, so one day it could look like this. That's it for this episode of Super Flat, but next episode I'm going to be finishing the wall of my base and start on the interior, so make sure you subscribe with notifications on that you don't miss that. And I promise there won't be a four month gap in between this video and the next. One more time, thank you all so much for the incredible support on the last video. It truly means a lot. And I will see you all next time. Peace.